today we are going to make soya chunk kofta or soya chunk potato balls curry the ingredients are fennel seeds red chili dried cumin seeds clove cardamom cinnamon sticks black pepper and other spices next ingredient is soya chunks 200 grams boil water and pour into the soya chunks wash and squeeze out all the water Take the boiled and cooked soya chunk which has been put in boiling water and taken out and all the water has been drained out. Now this has to be ground in a grinder. The next set of ingredients are tomato, garlic, ginger, big onions, boiled and peeled potatoes. The boiled and, potato, uh, and peeled potatoes have to be mashed into a mush. Heat the pan and put in the spices, chili, cumin seeds, cumin seeds. Start for one to two minutes until the spices start giving off this scent. Take the ginger and garlic in the grinder and grind it into a paste. Now take the big onions and put it in the grinder to make a puree. The onion has been finely ground. Now this can be transferred to the plate. Now put in the tomato and the spices and the red chili with the fennel seeds and cumin seeds into the grinder. This also has to be ground. The tomato and the spices have been fully ground. This can be transferred to the plate. Now the soya chunks can be put in the grinder to be ground into a paste. The soya chunks have been ground into a paste. This can be transferred to the plate. Put the potato in the grinder to make a mash. All this can be done manually. Now we are doing it in the grinder. Take some of the mashed potatoes and the mashed soya chunk. Put in the ginger garlic paste and the tomato and spice paste. Do this.
putting this one to disk and mix the potatoes this way too. the tomato spice paste half a cup of basin or gram flour to this mixture this will help in making the kofta balls this has to be mixed thoroughly with this mixture mix the basin flow or gram flow with the mixture And this has to be made into balls. Now the mixture has to be made into kofta balls like this and can be set aside. Do this for the whole mixture. These are the final kofta balls which have been made heat the pan and put in 20 ml of oil Take the kofta balls and put it in the oil. Now turn it from side to side. until the kofta balls have nice golden brown in color do this for 5 to 10 minutes okay. these kofta balls are somewhat like meat balls but a vegetarian option Or meatballs. Do this for five to ten minutes. Or until the balls are well. Put in the onion paste into the oil. Put in the tomato and spice paste and the ginger garlic paste and salt put in two spoons of 
coriander powder mix and salt and salt to taste put in a quarter spoon of turmeric powder and mix Put in the cooked double one by one and taste. the mixture. You, you need it to be spicy. Two spoons of chili powder also can be put in. This is an alternative to the meatball curry, a vegetarian alternative. Pour in 3 cups of water. And let it cook for mix. and let the kofta balls cook in the curry for a further 10 to 15 minutes now we can put in the curry leaves and mix Now the kofta curry is nearly ready and can be put off and can be served. This is the final soya chunk kofta curry or soya chunk kofta stew. An excellent vegan replacement for meatball curries or meatball recipes. If you like the video please like comment share and subscribe and press the notification button so is junk kofta or so a junk kofta stew or so a junk kofta masala or so a junk kofta roast